Hello and welcome to another episode of Cascadia Mount Weather. It's Thursday, October 19th, and to start us out, Wyatt's going to talk about the current conditions out in the mountains. Yeah, so the big question is going to be like, is this is snow incoming? Uh, is this kind of like the last snow-free-ish weekend in the high elevation? So this is some of the week conditions that you might see this upcoming weekend with a little bit of snow, um, uh, you know, kind of cloudy conditions a bit. So uh, this is from taken from earlier today. We're looking at Rainier, obviously. You can see that the snow is definitely starting to build on the lower flanks. And this past week, we saw pretty average conditions, except for the last two days. We did see uh, about 10 degrees above average. Right now, that means that we actually did set a record at Seattle yesterday of 71 degrees. Um, our average high this year is really starting to drop off the cliff. We're now down below 60 degrees. And we saw a little bit of rain this past week as well. So the mountains picked up one to two inches. It was really wet up if you're coming from or seeing us from Vancouver. You definitely saw that like out on west coast of Vancouver Island. They picked up almost a foot of rain, if not more in some places. In Vancouver itself, it was kind of that two to four inch range. There's a bit of snow as well. Yeah, uh, we have about probably anywhere from four to six inches above six to 7,000 feet. Uh, and some of that probably, especially on Southern aspects has melted up a little bit in the last few days of nice warm weather, but on shadier aspects, definitely above 7,000, I'd expect a fair bit of snow in the North Cascades this weekend, less South of US too. The storms have definitely been favoring the North Cascades recently. So here's some Sentinel imagery from two days ago at Cascade Pass. Cascade Pass is at 5,400 feet about, and the snow line started about 6,000 feet. Now, it's probably melted back a little bit, but still, you know, even on southern aspects, I'm guessing there's going to be some fresh snow above 7K or so. Here's Mount Shuxton and the Nooksack Sur. So you can see all those peaks above Hannigan Pass. So anything above about 5,500 to 6,000 feet had fresh snow just a few days ago. So similar conditions there. Yeah, so for the forecast this upcoming weekend, it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag. Depends on where you're planning on going. I think Friday is probably going to be the best day east of the Cascades, although Saturday shouldn't be too bad. Um, Friday is going to start a little bit windy on the east slopes, especially high elevations, but should calm down pretty quickly. And then what we're going to see is that on Friday on the west side, we're going to see a couple of, we'll wait until the cycle's through. So this is Friday, you'll see a couple of showers cycling through, and then that will clear out. Some high clouds are going to move in on Saturday, and then Sunday might be kind of a dreary, misty day around. We can look at the clouds going forward. So these are the clouds on Friday, and you'll see that it is a bit cloudy um, on the west side, but pretty clear on the east side. Then we have some high clouds moving in for Saturday. And then we get a bunch more clouds moving through on Sunday until they clear out late on Sunday. Uh, and then just a little bit more of the precipitation, kind of that drippy, dreary stuff on the west side overnight uh, tonight into Friday morning. Clears out. Saturday looks dry almost everywhere. And then we start to see some showers popping up. And once again, some mist. Um, some areas might not clear out at all on Sunday. In terms of temperatures... Um, it's going to be pretty similar, pretty close to average 50, forties to fifties in the uh, upper elevations for Friday, Saturday, maybe dropping five to 10 degrees on Sunday, kind of thirties to forties, depending on where you are. You can see that that last one was for Snoqualmie pass. This one is up in kind of the enchantment zone. You can see that there's a slight chance of snow, um, temperatures are going to be cooler, kind of only getting into the thirties on Sunday. And we can look at the freezing levels as well. We'll, we're, we're, we'll be about 7,000 feet tomorrow on Friday. Um, so there's definitely a chance of snow a bit. Then we'll pop up you know, above most of the mountains, 10 to 11,000 feet on Saturday. Then we'll drop back down Sunday. This is a photo from Blewett Pass last weekend. The western larches are probably going to peak this weekend. So if you missed out on the original you know, Larch Madness. There's still a lot of great fall colors out there. The cool thing about Western Larches is they're at mid elevations, probably anywhere from 2000 feet to 
5,500. And they're often more accessible from like driving. So you can see like north of Spokane, between Yakima and Ellensburg, south of Wenatchee. There's a lot of great areas to, to find Western larches. So, and you don't have to do a crazy amount of gain to see them. Often you can just like drive over Blue Pass and see them or drive over Satis Pass. So um, still some good fall colors to look for this weekend. Definitely. And now we get into kind of the interesting thing. So we're starting to see hints that uh, the next, especially next week, we might get into a cooler than normal pattern. Temperatures might be 10 to maybe even 15 degrees below average, kind of transitioning into maybe that late fall pattern. We can once again look at this probability. What is the show, Kyle? Uh, definitely a higher chance of precipitation early to mid next week, Tuesday to Wednesday. Uh, but really quite a bit of uncertainty after that. It could be dry and clear, but we also could see a substantial amount of precipitation. The main thing to know that appears more certain is that the temperatures are going to get substantially cooler. This is for Snoqualmie Pass, and it looks like overnight lows are going to be dropping to freezing or below freezing. So any precipitation that does fall might even fall snow at Snoqualmie Pass, and certainly the higher passes are going to start getting snow. This really changes some of the considerations with recreation. You know, you need to think about driving out in the morning, you know, roads could be icy and slick. Um, trails could be slick, scrambling, climbing. It, it's definitely we're we're at the end of that um, early fall season and definitely transitioning more towards it's looking a lot more like winter. Also, this sort of um, cool night, maybe above freezing day, especially if it's more clear at night, and it can really cool down with cold, clear nights, this kind of uh, late fall weather pattern with some snow on the ground can be really effective for building alpine ice conditions. So ice climbers out there might want to start watching the forecast. Cool. Yeah. So kind of the motivating factor behind this is that let's pop back here. Um, so what we have is we're going to have this deep trough digging in over the area and maybe even a second deep trough digging in. Um, you can see that kind of darker blue, purplish colors right there going in over the Pacific Northwest. If we look in terms of snow, so this is the Euro run that came out today. Like, I mean, by the end, by the middle of next weekend, it's predicting upwards of two feet of snow um, in much of the Cascades, maybe snow levels dropping as low as 3000 feet or even 2000 feet, which is below the past levels. We're not, it's a little bit uncertain. It's still quite a ways out. There's another, it depends on whether the trough goes to the west of us or to the east of us. Some of the models are actually showing pretty similar conditions to what we've been seeing the last couple of days. Um, but, and then this is just a more uh, ensemble where it's still like, this is kind of changing the, uh, this just basically shows that like, it does look like the snow will start to fall in the Cascades, even if we're not exactly certain uh, the amount yet. So definitely watching out for that as the week progresses. Well, thank you to everyone for listening to another episode of Cascading Mountain Weather. Keep your eyes on the mountains for some snowfall next week, and we hope you have a great weekend.